guys, how's it going? Um, what we got going on here today is a little bit different version of a five gallon bucket uh, nipple fed chicken wirer or bird, game bird. Um, I've come across a little bit different way to do it to make it easier as far as like when you're taking the bucket down from a hanging position to fill it up and um, so that way you're not going to break the nipples and so you can actually also add on to it if you decide you start raising more birds um, you don't have to start all over again so what we're going to do is we have our five gallon bucket and for this specific one we're just going to put two nipples on it so what I've done is pre-cut a piece of one and a half inch PVC it is approximately eh, 19 and a half inches. So what we are going to do is find the center. Simple chalk line. Edge to edge. Easy. So our cap will roughly cover to here. So just to be sure, we're going to put a mark on both edges. Then what we're also going to do is this is how you can adjust it for the future. So the bucket goes from here to here. So we're going to put the nipple just a scotch closer to the bucket. So then in the future, if you need to add on to it for whatever reason, you can have the ability to cut the cap off, then throw in a, um, a collar, so then you can add another piece of PVC to it with a cap on it or a hose end or anything like that. Um, and then that way we can add on to it in the future. And so with a typical five gallon, yeah, I mean, you're only putting four or two, depending on what kind of bird you're raising. And then, if the nipples are right here, standard five gallon bucket, it's got a very short lip. You can't set it down. You're gonna break it, one way or another. Um, especially when you start filling it. So then this way, you have the ability, this is one I did already, to set it down on the ground. As you can see, nipples don't touch the ground. And then you can add on. So let's get started. So we know the five gallon bucket lip is going to be right there. So we're going to put our hole in. Okay, those are for the nipples. Now these holes right here are going to be so the water can flow from the five gallon bucket to the nipples. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna make sure is you put holes both directly on the top and on the bottom. That way there can't airlock on you. So five gallon bucket. Now I'm using inch and a half PVC. So I'm going to go and this comes out roughly a half inch. So inch and a half plus half inch. 
So we're going to put our center at... Let's do two and a half just to precaution. Two and a half inches up. So roughly... Don't have to be insanely perfect here. I mean, it's just a plastic bucket. Two and a half. There we go. Big hole saw. The biggest one I can find is an inch and a half. So obviously we're going to have to do a little bit more cutting. Kind of center of that as best you can. Okay, so we got the outline here. Now, to make this what you're doing here beneficial, what you're actually going to do is you're going to leave the marker line. That is very important because you don't want there to be too big of a gap between this plastic and this piece of plastic. Once I'm done, Got a little crazy on that one. Okay, big hole. Drop that guy in there. Okay, so on this side you can see you got a little indentation. That's a good thing. This side that you push through, it's poking out. So you're gonna come in. Mm. There we go. Okay, now that that's there. For the nipples, the ones that I've got, um, I'll throw a link down in the description. Um, really easy to use. You don't have to do any crazy taping or anything if you don't want to. Uh, they, they're supposed to self-tap. Me personally, I mean, I have taps, so I'm just going to tap it regardless. Um, this one uses an 11 32nd drill bit. 
and I found that they they go in. I just don't like how rough it is. Um, so I'm just tapping it. You don't have to. It kind of depends on each one of these. I mean, they're molded plastic, so they're they're a little different here and there. I mean, obviously nothing crazy, but um, this is just my personal preference. And I mean, I'm not even tapping it with that much consideration for the tap or the threads or anything like that. Um, I'm just kind of letting it do what it does. As the way these nipples are designed, they're they're double seating. So, I I mean, as long as you tighten it down, not over tighten it, but tighten it down so it's sitting right on the lip, um, they say they're not supposed to leak. So. Give her just a couple twists. Same thing, just kind of get them started. And just politely and slowly kind of ratchet them on. Don't, don't wrench on them. I mean, it's plastic to plastic. You'll feel it sit right down on the lip, so you'll kind of know when to stop. There we go. Drip feeder, or water, I'm sorry. Straighten it out if you need to. Caps. Ooh. I mean, of course, why would I have a pair of pliers right here? Cleaning solvent. Glue. Spin and twist. It's going to be purple for days. Feel the bucket. Are you still straight? There we go. Mm. Hot glue to the rescue. Gorilla glue. One of my new favorite things.
Sorry, I use a high temp gun, so it takes a little longer. You don't want it dripping everywhere. Oop, too big of a gap. Then we are just gonna stack. And then last but not least, my favorite, um, costs a little more money, yeah, but for the simplicity of filling the bucket, um, and depending on how you hang it or where you hang it, you don't even have to hang, take it off the hook, um, and they got the, the seal, the rubber seal down in here to help keep the um, air bugs, that kind of stuff off, but this goes on top, and then it's a spin-off. Great little addition. And then all you have to do is, depending on how much water you put in here, put like a pinhole in it, so that way air can keep pressure on top of it, um, and it doesn't vacuum. Um, but yep, 10 minute chicken waterer that you are not limited to. You can add, I mean, literally as many as you want. So these are great for brooders. Um, when you're first starting out with a batch of um, meat birds, because uh, you got a lot more in there. It's not like egg layers. I mean, you only got, I guess, depending on who you are, 10, 15, maybe 20 at a time. Um, so you can get away with using two, three, four of these. So you can even extend out this way, uh, make, make a stand with it, uh, whatever you need. I mean, it's PVC. But then if you're doing um, a meat brooder, I mean, you can put a couple buckets in unison with it, all connected together, so you don't have to use or rely on one big drum in the way. Um, but then this way, if you really need to, you can add on, and you're not wasting everything, and then you're not going to damage the nipples when you go to set it down, which that's the bonus, because, I mean, they may only be $2 a piece, but when you have to keep replacing them, it gets to be a lot. Anyways, that aside, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helped someone. Um, if questions, comments, don't be shy. Thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Enjoy, and hope to catch you around.